next morning, my canning session was done last night. Girlfriend did a wonderful job while I was doing my live stream. This is what I do to make sure they work well. I hold them by the lid. I usually don't go that high though. Um, that confirms that they're properly sealed. So I should have beans and this should be good for at least two years. I have some more onion scapes. I will dehydrate them. Uh, use my coffee grinder. And make some more onion scape powder. Which I will use later for, for spice. I'm not too good with recipes. So it has me to make muffins out of nothing. It's not really my strength. I purchased um, oatmeal muffins and I will add blueberries to them and make beautiful blueberry muffins. And I can then freeze them for later if I want to. So after dehydrating some more onion scapes, I was hoping to do some blueberry jam tonight but it's my daughter's birthday we're gonna go outside and have a nice little fire it's one of the first few nights that we've had without rain i just wanted to show you this zucchini um i don't know um what's wrong with it it's actually white all the way around and trust me it is a zucchini Tastes like zucchini. I am still uh, cutting zucchinis, vacuum sealing, or freezing. This is my my part for today. Here I am again today on the 27th of August. I have some more zucchini dehydrating, and I vacuum sealed a bunch again. Uh, as you can see, the top of my freezer is full of zucchini. Now. I'm putting everything on hold uh, starting tomorrow. I will still do the challenge. I will do the strict minimum because I got a phone call from a friend of mine offering me a pig, um, 600 pound pig, whole pig. That means it's probably gonna give me around 300, 320 pounds of meat. But the problem we have to butcher it ourselves and I've never done that so tomorrow when we get it it's gonna be a big rush to try to get them ready I'm probably gonna have to use a vacuum sealer a lot and I'm probably gonna go to bed very late um, this will probably be what I do for the every big cow challenge <laughs> because I will be preserving the meat so I have to butcher it I have to make sure my knives are ready um, sharp and hopefully everything goes well today is day 28 <laughs> I have a pig coming in to, well two pigs but there's gonna be three of us so myself my brother and a friend of mine uh, we have purchased the pigs they will be um, alive until we go get them it's going to take pretty much all day because I am in no way experienced. So until then, uh, since I have the day off, I took a day on vacation. I want to preserve as much as I can today. I'm going to do some more blueberry jam. The first recipe, my dear girlfriend didn't like it. Apparently it was too sugary. It's going to be my, my favorite. And I also have some beans. So I should have, well I have another bag of beans in the fridge right there. And I'll see what else I can do. I still have the uh, zucchini dehydrating right there. It should be pretty much done at, at any time now. I started it yesterday morning, so it takes about 24 hours. So I was, I was thinking about doubling the recipe, but then I remembered when it starts boiling, 
<laughs> it'll come up in the in the bucket here so you don't want to do that instead I'll do it once and if it works well I'll do it twice it's asking for uh, four cups of blueberries fresh blueberries I will squish them make sure to remove like to let all the flavor out it's also asking for three and a half cup of sugar which is less than uh, seven eight cups from the last recipe uh, it's asking for one teaspoon of lemon lemon zest and uh, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and it is asking for one pouch of liquid pectin I have two so I'll be able to make the recipe twice instead of doing a double one and it says that it should give me about four of these so hopefully I don't mess it up one thing I like to do I put the oven on and well I like to say the minimum you can put it the mine goes to 170 Fahrenheit I put it to 180 just to keep the mason jars hot and warm after I'm done cleaning them so when I put the, the hot stuff there's less chance of the mason jar breaking and of course I just wash everything before I start because you want to have your food uh, done in an healthy healthy environment so I wash everything I clean everything I make sure everything is according to my code <laughs> so I have my canning mat ready I'll have the mason jars in the oven my new lids are here the rings I have my blueberry jam uh, ready to start I want to have all the mason jars ready before I do I'll have all, all my ingredients uh, nearby ready measured and then I'll be able to start. One teaspoon of lemon zest is pretty much one lemon. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice is basically half a lemon. I put it on boil. I will wait until it warms up a little bit so I can squish the blueberries. Just, just to let like the flavor out and uh, same time it allows me to see if there's anything that might have been missed when we clean them up like what I see right here A little piece in the end I decided to double the recipe right away there was still enough uh, space in there to uh, to get it done so you know, total it is a cup of blueberries, uh, three and a half, I mean seven cups of sugar. It'll be 30 ml, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and um, two teaspoons of lemon zest. It'll be two pouch of liquid pectin, and I'll mash it all up. Since I added some more blueberries, I'll make sure to stir it all the time. Once it's ro it says uh, royal boiling, that I can't bring it down. It means I have to add the liquid pectin, let it boil for another minute, and then it's time to put that in uh, in my mason jars. So I just added the pectin. Now I have to boil it for one minute and then it goes into my mason jars. So it's been about 30 seconds already. So. Mm. It tastes good and it smells awesome. So I will put that into my mason jars. I ended up being able to do 10 uh, mason jars of 250 milliliters. 
they were water bath can well was water bath canning uh, for 10 minutes I let it go to 12 just to make sure because I never trust myself so now it's cooling off I will remove the mason jars There it is. I just heard three of them popping already. Blueberry jam. Next, <laughs> don't know if I'm gonna have time to do it now, but I am uh, getting ready to pressure can some beans. August 31st. What am I canning this time? Ta da! So, um, <laughs> every big count challenge was a challenge uh, because, like I said before, uh, early in the month, I didn't have much. To process I didn't have much to put away I found a few things I processed some eggs um, you know pickled eggs and now that the month of August is done uh, I'm happy that I don't have to film everything I do although I will continue to can I will continue to store some stuff uh, I like the idea of every little bit count and uh, trust me, I will be doing just that every day. I will try to do a little something uh, to put in my pantry or in the freezer. Uh, we got some pigs. I ended up smoking some bacon. It's in the freezer now. I have to take my meat slicer and take it upstairs and slice that meat. And hopefully the bacon will taste as good as what it looked because it was looking awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the host, Three Rivers Homestead, for the wonderful challenge. And thank you all my friends for pushing me to participate in that challenge. It was fun. It was um, it was a good thing. It was positive. I enjoyed doing it, even though the, sometimes, like I said, it was a little bit of a big challenge. But that's what you want. That's what you, you need. You need to push yourself and do more than what you used to. So start doing it now. So thanks for watching, don't hesitate to share, like, subscribe if it's not already done, and I will see you next time, bye bye.